I will remember you. Will you remember me? Oh man, that didn't last very long. <laughs> that did not last very long. Ah, uh, should I unlist these videos now? No, no, I should not, because they're still gonna be up and they're gonna give me views. <laughs> no, okay, so. Uh, a new fix came out, new hotfix, with uh, some news to cover, and among those news, obviously, sneaking b that by in the, in the, uh, in the bug fix section, uh, Tesla Limbo and Banish Vauban, the interaction between Tesla Nervos and the Cataclysm, super hotfixed, super dead, which I am 100% not surprised by. Um, as, as soon as you dis I discovered that it could be reverse engineered and you could just put that on Vauban instead, I figured it's just a matter of minutes <laughs> before they hotfix that. Um, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm super not mad because this is this was 100% a bug. This was 100% not an intended interaction. Um, and I, I knew. I knew it was just a matter of time. I was just curious if it was going to be like low priority or high priority. Well, apparently that that shit was high priority. And they got it. They got it snip snapped. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Like, I'm still going to like experiment with Helmet System. I'm going to find new weird stuff to make videos about. Uh, some builds are going to be wonky. Some builds might be broken if I get creative enough. Some builds are just going to be, you know, slightly good. Uh, but don't worry, there's going to be more content on this channel. I'll... I'll... <laughs> I might break the game again by accident, who knows. We'll find out. Time will tell. You will find out with me. Anyway, up to the next of the... Up to the next... Bleh, up to the rest of the news. Because there is uh, some news. Uh, there is a new Prime Vault. Well, new and new. Let's see if they have it in the market yet. Uh, uh, um. Nope, nope, not in the market yet. But it's gonna be there in like a couple of hours, maybe. Um, Ember Prime and Frost Prime have been unvaulted. You can now farm for them. And with that, they have... I mean, they've been unvaulted. With that, they have chucked back into the vault... Uh, Nova Prime and Trinity Prime. Uh, so you can no longer farm for those. So if you go to your Relics tab and look for, for example, for your, say, your Nova Prime Relics and check on the tab. Yep, it's vaulted. It's vaulted. So you can no longer farm for these Relics. Now you can instead farm for uh, Ember and Frost, I'm gonna make a, a separate video just talking a bit more about that because that's something people are gonna be searching specifically for. Uh, another big change. Oh, people are gonna love this one. People are gonna love this one. Hey, guess what? We can do more Helminth experimentation now because check it out. Check it out. The bile section. They have... Shaboom! They've added bile uh, resources. Anti-serum injector fragments, you know, that you just get as an aside while you're farming for Nidus. Now you can get bile with that. Javlock capacitors that become completely useless uh, as soon as you've built yourself a Javlock. They have no other use. You can now chuck those into your helmet. And probably the most important one, nav coordinates. Nav coordinates can now be used as a bile resource. People have a ton of those. Um, they used to have a use in the game. You use them to craft uh, Orokin Derelict keys to access Orokin Derelict missions. Uh, now Orokin Derelict uh, tiles no longer keys to access them and they're open to public matchmaking. Which means now nav coordinates have no function in the game. So now you can chuck those into... The Helminth, unless you sold them all for credits. What do I know? Maybe you did. Uh, if you didn't sell your nav coordinates, now you have a good use for them. So, Bile is fixed. 
bile is no longer a problem, which opens up a whole lot of experimentation. People are going to be able to have a lot more fun with the helmet now because they're not going to feel trapped by the bile costs holding them back. They've also tweaked uh, some of the other resources, specifically the railjack resources. They are uh, way cheaper than they used to be. You see, this used to be like, I don't know if it was 15,000 or 12,000. There's now 4,000 for Copernix. I think the biggest ones are Fresnels. They used to cost a thousand Fresnels for one chuck into the helmet. That's been reduced to 150. That is an 85 percent uh, uh, cost reduction. Very nice. I think the biggest cost reduction is Tracons. Tracons used to cost 10,000 to chuck into the helmet once. That's now down to a thousand. That is a 90% cost reduction. But they have cost reduced all the helmet resources so that they're like a bit more reasonable. Like titanium, it was I think 20,000, now it's 10,000. Still too much, still too much. Um, but now you can, you can actually sort of pay off like some uh, railjack resources as well without breaking your bank. But yeah, bile is taken care of. Very nice. Allows for a lot more helmet experimentation. So go ahead and start chucking some uh, stuff into the helmet. They also said that like people who qualify for it, people who like have a railjack and have access to the helmet system, stuff like that, were supposed to get... Um, an inbox message with a bunch of rail drag resources to sort of compensate for the costs uh, up until this point, I think. I, I don't know. I have to read up a bit closer on that because I have not gotten such an inbox message yet. But that might drop soon enough. They've also done some uh, lighting changes and some texture changes with the game, which is supposed to make uh, lighting effects look uh, a lot better than they used to. Um... I think I could tell with like, for example, this frost. If you look at like his his chest piece and like the how how the light reflects off surfaces and stuff. Like this is probably more for like tech nerd stuff, but like on the shoulder as well. Come on, stop posing. Yeah, yeah. Like no, it's they're they're still making like graphic uh, graphic improvements to the game. That's that's neato. That's nice. So, is there anything else interesting going on in this hotfix? Oh yeah, uh, they've done more tweaks to uh, Mark of Death. It got nerfed before, now they are uh, reverting some of that. Or not reverting, rather just tweaking the numbers. So, uh, they, s they acknowledge that they swung the, uh, the proverbial ban hammer a bit too hard on, uh, uh, on Mark for Death. Uh, when they nerfed it, kind of nerfed it into the ground, uh, they are putting some of the numbers back up. So that I think now it's like, it's it has a base damage of 75%, you can mod it up to like 150% uh, to make it at least like usable. It's still, it's not supposed to be like way, way more powerful than the other infused ability, but now it's at least probably to the level where you can put it in some Warframes and it's actually going to uh, to do some work. And I saw some videos also saying that like even after the nerf, Mark for Death was still pretty good. Uh, and now it's better. So I think we might be able to see some new Mark for Death builds uh, with the Helmet system now. Uh, because uh, numbers are up. Numbers are up, people. Anywho, so now now that we're done being sad about the poor demise of this ludicrous build that only was allowed to exist for <laughs> a couple of days. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Don't worry about it, people. I'll be I'll be back on it. I'll be back on it with with uh with some more neato stuff. We're going to we're going to dig through this code. We're going to find the busted stuff. Do not worry. It's happening.